It was a decisive response from an administration that has often seemed disorganized and at times dysfunctional. A fusillade of Tomahawk cruise missiles fired from U.S. Navy ships in the Mediterranean aimed at the Syrian airbase from which America says that deadly chemical weapons attack was launched earlier this week. A line in the sand moment for the new commander in chief. On Tuesday, Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad launched a horrible chemical weapons attack on innocent civilians. Using a deadly nerve agent, Assad choked out the lives of helpless men, women, and children. These are the heartbreaking images that moved the president to action, prompting in the process a remarkable shift in foreign policy on the part of his fledgling administration. A week ago, White House officials professed little interest in regime change in Syria, but the use of what they now say was the deadly nerve gas sarin on people in the rebel-held town of Idlib by Bashar al-Assad's forces has changed everything. At least 86 people are thought to have died in the attack, many of them children. The president's revised stance on Syria is in sharp contrast to the position he took after the chemical weapons attack in 2013, as then-President Obama contemplated and subsequently shelved plans for a retaliatory strike. Mr. Trump fired off a string of tweets calling on the U.S. to stay out of Syria. Now, less than three months after taking office, the man who campaigned on a platform of selective engagement in the Middle East finds himself embroiled in one of the most complex and intractable conflicts the region has ever seen, a conflict Barack Obama spent years actively attempting to avoid. So will there now be more U.S. missile strikes to come? This was the first time the U.S. has taken direct military action against the Assad regime. The Tomahawk missiles caused considerable damage to the airfield in central Syria, and several Syrian soldiers are also thought to have died. I believe that too, by the way. President Trump said he acted in the national interest to prevent the future use of chemical weapons. But news of the missile strike has overshadowed today's summit with China's President Xi, a meeting at which the two leaders were expected to discuss the growing threat posed by North Korea. President Trump has said that if necessary, he's prepared to go it alone on that front as well. But he could find he has his work cut out in Syria in a quagmire of a conflict which could come to define his presidency one way or the other. David Willis, BBC News, Washington.